Hey guys, welcome back. Father's Day is getting close, so today I'm making this toolbox gift card holder. I'll also be using Cricut pens to write on the front of it, so if you want to learn how to use your Cricut pens, make sure to stick around. Um, this is such a fun way to personalize gift cards, so if Dad's getting a gift card this Father's Day, you can make it just a little more fun by putting it in this toolbox. Um, it's great for giving gifts for birthdays and Christmases as well. Um, so go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space to get started and upload the file. You'll find this file on my blog at svgnation.com. I've also left a link directly to the post in the description, so you can just click there. And you'll notice that I don't have this personalized, and that's just because, like I said, it's good for giving for any occasion. So we're going to personalize it in Cricut Design Space so you can use it for any holiday that you want to use it for. Um, so go ahead and ungroup your layers. Um, so that way we can work with this. And I'm going to be using my Cricut pens to write on the front of it. If you don't have pens or don't want to use this, you can always write on it yourself. Um, I don't have the best handwriting, so I'm going to let Cricut do this for me. I'm just going to have it say Happy Father's Day. And so we want to change our text or our font. And if you are using your pens and you have Cricut Access, if you go to Filters, you can filter by just the writing pens. Um, so there's a whole bunch in here, and these are made specifically for writing. So if you notice, you're not going to get the outlines that you'll get when you use regular fonts. It's just going to be a single line. Um, however, if you don't have Cricut Access and you don't want to have to pay you know, for this to cut, I'll show you how you can use it. Oh, let's take that filter off how you can use fonts you already have. Um, you do want to use, if you want it to look like a single line, you do want to use something that's thin and then use a thicker pen, or you can use a thicker font and let it look like bubble letters where it writes around it. Um, for this, I'm going to use something that's really thin. So I'm going to go ahead and change all of my font to this. And now we're going to have to go into our operation and we need to change it from basic cut to pen. And as you can see, it does have the outline. And um, there's really nothing you can do about this unless you use a specific writing font. Um, but with a thicker pen and once we make these smaller, you're really not going to see that outline much. So let's go ahead and resize this. You know what? I actually want Father's Day on the same line. So you can just... I don't want to create a new one. You can just double click in your text box to open that back up and write in there. And to resize these together, just select them together by holding down shift and that way you have them sized correctly. And we're going to align these and we're going to go ahead and center those together. And we can bring this down a little bit. Okay, so now you see we have less of that outline, it looks a little more filled in. Um, but I'm also going to change the pen that I'm using. I like to use the gel pens, they're a little bit thicker. So it's going to cover in more of that center. Um, all I have on me right now are glitter gel pens. I guess I need to get a few more Cricut pens, um, but that will totally understand. Um, and go with the color I'm using. So see, as I use the thicker pen, you can see it's going to fill in a little more. Um, so that's just kind of a way that you can do that. If you're making the font really large, it's going to be harder to do that. Okay, so once you have these in place where you want them, let's see, you do need to attach them to the layer that you're writing on. So we're going to be writing on this toolbox right here. So I'm just going to select that as well. Again, you can hold down shift to select multiple layers and we're going to attach that. And now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a score line for my toolbox. I mean, you don't have to do this. It's just a fold in the center, so it's not like it's that hard. But if you do have the scoring tool, I recommend adding a score line. Um, just go to your lines right here, and we're going to turn this horizontal. We're just going to drag it. And mine's already set to score, but if it's not, you can just go to your operation because it may be set to cut and just change it to score. And now you're going to select the, select your score line with the toolbox. And you're going to want to align those vertically to make sure it's perfectly center. 
And then again, you do need to attach the score line to the toolbox so your Cricut knows where it's scoring. So we're just gonna attach those. Okay. I also wanna leave a little secret message written right here for when um, Dad takes the gift card out. There's like a little hidden message. So let's see. We're just gonna write, thanks for, and I'm gonna use the same font. Everything. You do that. There we go. Okay, we need to select all of these and resize them. Let's see how big we can make it fit in here. And we can go ahead and align these and we'll center them. And we can also use this distribute vertically to perfectly distribute them together. Um, so I think that looks pretty cute right there. Now don't forget that we do need to change this to the pen operation. So we'll go ahead and change that. And I'm gonna use the same pen I did test out this color to see how it would look on the red paper. Um, and I do recommend doing that whenever you're using like a darker paper and it does look like it's gonna look pretty good. I might can make this just a little bit bigger. And once you're happy with how it looks, you're also gonna select your tool layer and you're just gonna attach those together. So now everything looks good and it's ready to go. So when you click on make it, I'm gonna show you a few things to look for to make sure that everything is gonna cut and work properly. Um, on this layer, you do wanna make sure that you see the writing font exactly where you want it to go. If the writing font is on a different layer or in a different spot, you have not attached it and it's not gonna work right, so make sure you go back and attach it. And the same thing when you have score lines, you do wanna make sure you see the score lines exactly where they're gonna go. Um, so if everything looks good, you're just going to go ahead and continue and make this. And your Cricut is going to walk you through all the steps. It's going to tell you when to put in your scoring tool, when to put in your pens. If you're using different pens, it's going to tell you when to change the colors out. Um, but if you are using different pens, you do need to make sure that you set all of that in design space before coming here. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're going to detach these. If I wanted to use a different color pen for everything, I do need to make sure I change it in here. That way my Cricut knows that everything is going to be written a little bit different. And so it knows to tell me to change out the pen when it's time to write this. But I'm just going to undo that because I want it all the same. And we're ready to make this. So go ahead and continue and let's make this. Start by preparing your mat. If you have new mats, you may want to use your blue light grip mat instead. My green mat has been used quite a while, so it's lost a lot of its stickiness, um, which is why I now use it for cardstock projects. Um, if you are using Cricut pens, you are going to see a prompt in Cricut Design Space telling you to insert your pen into clamp A. So go ahead and do that before you start cutting. If you're not using pens, then you can continue to cut your project without adding your pen. You'll notice that your Cricut will write everything first and then cut out your pieces. You don't need to do anything for this. Your Cricut automatically will perform both of the tasks. And continue to cut out your pieces. If you added a score line and writing to the toolbox, make sure that you pay close attention to Cricut Design Space as this is going to tell you when you need to insert your scoring tool and your Cricut pens. A little trick to removing cardstock from your mat is to roll the mat off of your cardstock. This will help the cardstock pop right off so that you will avoid any tearing or curling in the cutout pieces. This toolbox is really easy to assemble and it only takes a couple minutes. Fold the toolbox in half on your score line and you can use your brayer to get a really nice fold. And then you're just going to glue the black piece to the inside back side of your gift card holder and then attach your gift card holder together. Um, to do this, only glue around the outside and the top piece of your toolbox. You really want to keep the entire center open with just an opening at the top for tools to slide in. 
Now since the edges are thin, I think it's easiest to use a glue stick for this. Just make sure to be generous with the amount of glue that you are using. Um, that way it will hold really well. And once your toolbox is dry, just slide your gift card into your cutout slots. It is a snug fit so that the gift card won't fall out. So you may need to slide the gift card in sideways if you're having issues. And then put the tools into your toolbox and your gift is all ready to go. Um, leave me a comment guys and let me know how this design worked out for you guys. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments and I'll answer them there. And make sure to give this video a like and to, to subscribe for more awesome Cricut project ideas. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.